good morning. Welcome to the Max. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, if you're new to our channel, click down here, hit the subscribe button, also ring the bell. That way you can see what's going on. We always have uh, fun things going on here at the farm. Um, if you are returning guests, thank you for coming back. Today is going to be a good day. You see I'm still wearing short sleeves, so after all this rain, we still have not had a cold snap yet. Um, but we had to, we, we pushed off our chicken butchering for a week last week because of the rain. Well, we had a terrible storm yesterday. And really this morning, early morning when I was milking, and now we we have a prettier day and it's supposed to be pretty tomorrow and then rain all this week so what we're going to do we're going to rush the butchering until tomorrow so we've got to get set up for that so we're going to do our normal chores that we have to do in the morning with aiden we're going to help him take care of everything we're not going to feed the the meat birds just because of course we are going to be butchering them tomorrow morning so um join us as we get this set up and this will probably be part of the two two day video because we'll pretty much show the set of the setup and then we'll show the butchering but then alfalfa strong alfalfa strong mm -hmm. we're actually we bought some feed too so we're trying to get it unloaded before we start so he's over here coughing look at that muscles muscles mac he said he's not going to do much of the butchering so we'll see what happens tomorrow i doubt him and mommy help me too much they might just be like the ones that go get the chickens and uh the ones who help me maybe scald i don't I doubt they do anything else so but hey the day has arrived. We went to the market uh, uh, just a few minutes ago and had to buy a little meat. And we told ourselves we're not buying chickens because we're butchering tomorrow. So that way it made us where we couldn't push it off another day. <laughs> it might even rain, but hopefully it won't. Hopefully it'll stay this pretty sun. Uh, we'll have a good day. So we're going to get set up. You see our tent in the back of the Ranger. We've got to get some tables. Got to get our scalder. We're going to get our new pot out. Check the plucker, make sure it works like we need it to work, and start our day. All right, we thought about putting it over there, but me and Aiden, again, we have a plug right here next to a lighting that we have just in case we ever needed it. Uh, we used to have our chickens right here where the orchard is, and that's, it doesn't look like a more of an orchard right now because it's winter, but um, this is where our peaches and most of our blueberries are right next to our bees, and of course our, our American guinea hog. So I think me and Aiden just decided to put it here. What do you think? It's pretty level. We got the uh, plug in. And it's right next to the chicken, so that we way we don't have to. That's right. Our water be closed. We can hang up on the tent. We've got power, which is the main thing. We have a light, which I don't think will be that long, but we're going to be able to start. We're not going to be able to start first thing in the morning. We're going to start a little bit later. So, um, what do you think, girls? friends have come out so they're not supposed to be out we're gonna see if we can walk them back aiden's got some feed behind me come on fix come on fix hey fix hey fix hey fix hey fix hey fix well, all the hogs are back in so uh they're good aiden's putting some feed on the coop I, mean, I say we've had about four inches, three to four inches worth of rain in the last three days. I'm not joking, it's been crazy. Don't get me wrong, it's been great for my grass over there. Man, made a mess all right here. So now we need to get back to uh, fixing the rest of the meat chicken process in place. 
we just had <laughs> I turned around looked at the bees and all of a sudden all the hogs were out so always fun never a dull moment show you how much wind we had last night we just put this piece back but it blew all the silage tarps off so we're actually having to fix all that now uh, on top of getting pigs in and getting ready for uh butchering tomorrow never a dull moment is it bud nope. never a dull moment Time well wasted. That was not part of the plan today. We're running out of time now, but we got it all covered back up. Every bit of it. That's over. This garden's about right a little over 10,000. Well, no, excuse me. It's uh, let's see. Uh, this one, this part's over here about another. This is about 6,800 to 7,000 square foot here, and then not counting where the you know the pigs and chickens are right now. Haynes finishing the water. Hey, the well yeah, I will. We still even got to do hay for the cow. The bees are out like crazy. The thing I'm worried about is what I told you a few videos ago. I think one of my biggest, best highs is just I don't see a lot of activity, which I hate because that's the one I took the most splits off of. Had the best queen there was. So I can't check it today. I don't have time. But. Yeah, they're all flying like crazy if y'all can see that i don't know if you can see but my biggest one over there i got a few bees in there that's coming in and out i really think they're robbing it i don't think they're actually bees from that high so i might be surprised they might just have so much feed with the honey because i left a lot of honey for them to fall and that's my biggest honey maker it may just be the fact that they just got so much they don't need to come out and i hope that that's it i don't think that's it but i hope that that's it but anyways let's uh finish our kill cone hang in here and then uh we'll get the hay and then i'll walk you through our setup here and then we'll talk about uh of course our our birds getting done all right so we're going to kind of walk you through we don't have the um the plucker down here yet we'll have it down tomorrow um but, but actually misty's cleaning that in the cooler right now but uh basically here's our kill cones what we've decided to do was hanging on a tree we were we had a little hanger um but then we'd have to stand that hanger up and then still find a way to, to catch the blood. So what we did is take it and put it on this oak tree. Uh, we've got two kill cones basically hanging from each side. These are the little giants. We ordered them. We'll link uh, our little giants basically on our, our chicken video. That way if you have a question about these, we'll tell you how they work tomorrow. Uh, we've got the kill buckets basically where, which will catch all the blood from both uh, kills. We'll usually do one at a time until we get in a good routine. Then hopefully I'm we'll start processing basically two at a time. Misty is going to do the... Uh, the um, scalding and plucking and I'm going to do the uh, killing and of course uh, eviscerating so hopefully by then we'll get to a point where we get a, in a good routine so we're going to move from here and basically we'll go straight to the uh, the scalder we've got it set it'll be of course at 145 to 150 is kind of what our game is we've got it set over here um, basically it go it's easy walk we're trying to put everything basically in one circle so it makes a flow a lot easier so we've got it here this is where our plug is so basically this is where our plucker will go right here but we don't want it so close to the flames because of course you have water going uh one good thing is uh basically where these feathers will come out of course is a bucket but this is also where our chickens used to be and you see how lush the grass is also this is where our orchard is so any uh parts and and stuff that, that gets knocked off even some of the feathers which we'll, we'll try to compost but even some of the just nastiness and, and even the chickens itself they'll help fertilize this area even more but this is where all our orchard of course is our blueberries peaches figs uh blackberries and grapes uh so i think it's a good place to kind of handle all this of course there's our bees so we'll be working kind of behind them and right next to our well which has water our plug we have another spigot right up here where aiden's at this is where our main water will come from we'll be washing it the main thing is make sure the plucker is not close enough to the plug that we'll get water all the plug but also close enough to where um, it could be plugged directly in versus going through extension cords of course, where, this is where we're actually going to be getting the chickens from. So it's going to be easy access to be able to grab them. 
start the process and walk all the way around. After Misty gets done plucking, she'll put them on this table. Basically, we'll come and this is where I'll have a, a butcher block. We'll actually do all the evisceration right here on this table. Then we'll, again, then we'll ho have the hose here. So basically, she'll be using it and then I'll be using it. We'll wash, come here, and this is actually where we'll kind of let them rest. Uh, kind of get it all clean off. This table needs to be clean, of course, so excuse the mess. We're fixing to clean now. And then we'll go into a cooler, and then this is the extra bucket. Both of these will have ice water in them. That'll help wash, let them sit for a little bit, let them rest. And then from there, we'll actually get ready to clean everything back up. And then to clean the scalder out, because ultimately, then we'll get it up to about 185, and then we'll put it in the prepackaged bag. So a good, a good setup, I think. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, my brother-in-law may come help us. Uh, there's also one or two other people that, that, that's kind of said they may want to come help us too, but pretty much it's going to be a family affair. And uh, we'll get it done and see how it goes. It's only 22, 23, 22 or 23 chickens. I think it's 22. Uh, it's hard to get a count unless you're actually going and actually picking them all up. But I think it's 22 uh, of our birds. We've lost, we lost one, two, uh, how many did we lose total? Three? Yeah. three total so we've lost so we two lost I, I know I had to. I think we lost two or three so that's 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 really around 10 percent so I'm, I'm okay with that uh, we didn't want to start off with a big amount of birds first just to make sure that we were comfortable doing this uh, if I'm doing it by myself I, it might be hard to do more than about 20 25 together.